Hey there, people. What a day we've got today. The sun's out, the bit breezy, and earlier we had a dash of rain. Classic Isle of Man weather. I've been on this beautiful island for a few weeks now, and let me tell you, it's been a blast. We have got some stunning beaches, landscape that look like they're straight out of a fairy tale, bubbling streams, flush forests, and so much more. And sometimes the fog grows in, and it's like a scene from the Exorcist movie. I know the spooky stuff, of course. Today, I'm diving into the food and drink festival. A feast for the senses. I'll be scouting for local ingredients, savoring delicious foods, all while grooving to some tunes. Right across the road, the festival of motoring revs up with thrilling rides. And when my appetite calls, I'll whip up a Manx-inspired dish at home. So, let's dig in. Today's adventure takes us to the food and drink festival an Arnold Island transition. It's all about celebrating local businesses, supporting the amazing agricultural sector, and giving the island and visitors a chance to explore the awesome culinary scene. As soon as I walked in, there were all these stalls selling trinkets, jewelry, and whatnot. But my radar was locked onto the food section. I mean, who can resist the allure of fresh local ingredients, right? They're like little nuggets of inspiration. I stumbled upon some homemade lemon hot sauce. And that made me sweating bullets. And guess what? They had pepper ice cream. It was surprisingly mellow though. But hey, I like a good kick. Then I found these glorious cuts of aged meats. And this thing called Manx meats. So it's a special ship bred exclusively on the island. I wanted to snack some but my wallet started whimpering. Oh well, a foodie can drink. The mushrooms though, I could definitely afford that. And let's not forget these lovely pink mushrooms. Just look at them. On my way to the ready-made food section, I had a run-in with some bees. They sweet talked me into buying some honey, and I couldn't say no. But you know what? I was actually hoping for more fresh veggies and fruits. You know, more local ingredients. Variety is the spice of life after all. Oh well. Oh, and there was this cooking thingy. I think I whizzed in a little bit late. But those chefs were having a blast. Cooking is all about fun, right? I think they were calling some spectators to have a taste. I wasn't just in the mood for sushi. But by now I was seriously hungry, so I got myself some classic fish and chips. And let me tell you, it hits the spot. As I chowed down, there was this cool music playing in the background by this band. Um, I actually don't know what they're called. After the awesome fish and chips, it was time for the festival of motoring. Picture this, a four-day extravaganza, and guess what? Today was all about a seafront car display. Lucky me. This calls for a musical montage. Enjoy the ride, folks. Once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room and Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good, you look great I like you, I can't wait Our first time, our first day You're so fine, I'm so late You sip wine, I drink straight Don't waste time to my place I feel my heart erase So catch me if I fall But wait, the adventure doesn't end there. I ended back home, stomach growling, and decided to whip up a scrumptious pasta dish with the goodies I scored at the food and drink festival. First things first, pasta from scratch. There's really nothing better. Flour, water, and kneading, you know the drill. Then I rolled and cut them into these glorious long strips of pasta. Homemade is the way to go, trust me. For the sauce, I added some butter in a pan, then those beautiful pink flamingo oyster mushrooms I snagged earlier, some garlic, a pinch of salt, a dash of nutmeg, and a dollop of that fiery hot sauce I got earlier. Now, here's a twist. I am lactose intolerant, but I won't let that stop me from enjoying creamy goodness. So I whipped up my own cream from soy beans. Yep, I'm a DIY kind of guy. And yes, 
I knew I had some ice cream earlier. I love the finer things. So, I added the cream, a touch of honey, and tossed in the pasta along with some parsley. And voila, my masterpiece. Pink flamingo oyster mushroom sauce pasta. Well, folks, it's been a blast sharing this slice of island life with you. Now it's time for me to devour this pasta creation. But the adventure doesn't end there. There are plenty more events on the island's calendar. So stay tuned, and who knows where we'll go next. Thanks for joining me today and catch you on the flip side. Bye for now and keep those taste buds tingling.